What's going on guys, Kaoden here, and today is going to be a quick tutorial video on showing you how to get the Steam Workshop Skyrim mods downloaded with your mod organizer. In doing so, you'll be keeping your Skyrim folder clean and free of clutter. So, of course, all you're going to be needing is your access to the workshop and your mod organizer. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to this little drop down, go to edit, Add in your Skyrim launcher, click the thing next to the binary, and find where your Skyrim launcher is actually at, which is of course in your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim folder. So just click on that and hit open. I already have mine done, so I'm not going to be doing that. But once you have that done, you're going to want to get onto the workshop, find the mod that you're after. Uh, I've already got these two. I would have done the collection, but I don't want the collection. There's uh, certain ones here that I don't want, so I'm going to be doing these individually. So, since I got the first two already, I'm just going to be clicking on Granite Hall, and I'm going to subscribe to it. Now, once you have subscribed, just run your Skyrim launcher. Shouldn't take too long for it to pop up. It'll check your subscribe mods, downloading it, and finish synchronizing. So after that's done, you just exit out, and create your mod. This one is Granite Hall. And if you want to see it, I'll open it up so you can see it downloaded, downloaded the ESP and the BSA. Everything you need for that. Um, now, the 13 Oranges mods are only available on the, uh, the workshop here. So, I was trying to figure out a way to um, get them all downloaded with my mod organizer. And I was looking around on the internet and I found uh, an article that said to try this. I'm sure a lot of people know how to do it, but for those of you that don't know how to do it, I decided to make this video for you. So that's pretty much it. After you create the mod, you want to unsubscribe. That way, whenever you do launch your actual Skyrim launcher from your base directory, it won't download it and uh, put it into your Skyrim directory. So that should be about it. It's as uh, simple as that. So hope you enjoyed this. If it helped you out, or if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you feel like it, hit that subscribe button. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.